I should also mention with the Mark Levinsons that connected to a Android phone, they support the Sony LDAC codec. Mmm, Sony LDAC. Ooh, how does that sound? It sounds amazing. It's almost like a straight wire. And I mean, the, the, the bandwidth is almost a thousand kilobit per sec. And sending 44.116 bit sound is like uh, 1500 kilobit per sec or so. So they almost send or receive a linear sound. Uh, is that audible? Hell yes, I really like it. So if you're on an Android phone, uh, uh, these, uh, with these headphones, you will be able to use the Sony LDAC codec. Will that ever happen to the other two headphones? Or will that ever happen on an iPhone? Probably not. Uh, we are stuck with the AAC codec at 256 kilobit, I guess. There is support up to 320 kilobit per sec also, but I don't know if they really um, use that bandwidth. I, my guess is that they connect at 256 kilobit per sec. So coming to the conclusion of uh, using these headphones for quite some time now, uh, like I said, I really, really like these two head pair of headphones. I wouldn't trade either of them. I use these for editing, for uh, mixing music on the fly. I use these for travel uh, and laying in bed when I want that intimate sound. Might not be as uh, transparent, but it, it's an intimacy and they just fit really well on my head and, and they take up a little bit less space around my pillow. So, and with the Mark Levinson, the odd cat in the team, the most expensive headphones. Well, they don't quite live up to my expectations when it comes to the active noise cancelling or the, the overall uh, usability. Still, they are really nice sounding headphones and who knows, they might be the perfect headphones for you and for your hearing and for your head. So my suggestion is that you head out to your local hi-fi store, well-sorted hi-fi store, and try out all three models.